All right, before I get into this video, I want to remind you of a couple giveaways we have going on. The first is for a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, and an Xbox Series X. To enter, just go down to the description, find out how. Uh, yeah, we will be uh, announcing the winner of that on December 1st. We're also giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe uh, in the month of October. So go down to the description again to find out how to enter that. Uh, yeah, we'll be announcing the winners for that on November 1st. All right, so... I get to talk about Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity again because we have uh, some translated information coming out of the Tokyo Game Show. So there was a big presentation at the Tokyo Game Show and there was some, an interview conducted there. Uh, and now we have a partial translation of, uh, of this thanks to Nintendo Everything. And my word is there's some interesting stuff in here. So... Uh, first off from Matoshida, it says, We know that many people treasure the experience they've had with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We're confident that this game will satisfy those players. So we really hope you all look forward to the game launching soon. Furosawa responded by saying, Since this game takes place 100 years before Breath of the Wild, I think it's one moving part of a greater whole. We worked very closely with the Zelda team. They supervised all of our work. I worked on the first Hyrule Warriors title, but compared to that, the Zelda team was over 100 times more involved this time around. I think the team did a great job providing all sorts of things the fans of Breath of the Wild would want. I think we really got there in the end. I can't wait for players to try it out. Then Hayashi said, We started development on Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity after A.G. Anoma of Nintendo approached us. We thought we were done with Hyrule Warriors games, at least for the time being. The first game was like a celebration of Zelda and was full of characters from throughout the series. But then he approached us with this great idea. And here we are working on this amazing game. I'm sure it's in line with everyone's expectations, and I'm excited uh, for players to experience it. I hope we can make more interesting games like this in the future. Uh, and then there was a, a, a little talk going on you know, about uh, fan response to this game because obviously uh, fans were completely taken back because this game, just nobody had any idea it was coming. Uh, and Hayashi said, I'm just glad the game didn't leak. And he laughs. Uh, we really wanted it to be a surprise. So it was great to see everyone so excited by the announcement. And that's one of the big takeaways, I think, from this is we see so many times, so many games get leaked, right? They're rumored. They're leaked. We see them on 4chan. We see them out there. Uh, and I am not against these kind of leaks. I think they're rather interesting to entertain the thought of and interesting to find out information maybe a bit sooner than we normally would, especially in 2020 when Nintendo has been fairly quiet for most of this year. But it's also cool when we do get an actual surprise announcement. I don't think anybody saw a new Hyrule Warriors game coming, let alone a prequel game. I think some people speculated that, hey, look, the first Hyrule Warriors game sold well. It would make logical sense for another one to happen at some point, uh, which it appears it wasn't going to, <laughs> at least not anytime soon. But, you know, AJ was like, hey, I got this idea, and what you guys do did with Hyrule Warriors would be perfect for it. Uh, so it's just really cool to see that happen. Uh, and what I like is the synergy here. So there's been a lot of talks with Hyrule Warrior Age of Calamity that some people aren't going to like it because it's not going to be like this kind of exploration-based game. It's going to be very heavy, heavily combat-focused, which is exactly what Hyrule Warrior games are. But it's interesting because there was a heavy, heavy emphasis between the Hyrule Warriors team and Nintendo's Zelda team that worked very closely with them. Um, to try to make sure that this game was going to satisfy Breath of the Wild gamers, because Breath of the Wild plays completely different from this one. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what little, what little tweaks, what little differences there are between this and, say, the original Hyrule Warriors gameplay-wise. Uh, and then, obviously, uh, we all know the game basically looks exactly like Breath of the Wild. They nailed the art style to a T, which, with Nintendo and the Zelda team working directly with them, that probably isn't that much of a surprise that they actually nailed the art direction. Uh, but we'll see. One of the craziest things that people love about Breath of the Wild is the physics engine. And uh, I don't think that physics is going to be present in this game. It would be pretty crazy to take the, the way a Musou game plays and then throw in um, Breath of the Wild physics. So that might be asking a little much. Uh, but I, I do think it's going to be interesting to see what little touches here and there uh, are going to make people happy. I know one reason that a lot of Breath of the Wild fans are picking this game up is for the story. 
Uh, you don't hear that often. Most people don't buy Zelda games for the story. The story might be part of a grand, bigger picture, a grander uh, concept of buying a game, but it's never like the reason. But I know a lot of you guys out there are picking this game up just because you want to know what happened 100 years ago and you want to experience it firsthand. Uh, the cutscenes you know, so far have looked utterly amazing. Um, obviously, we get to see Hyrule before it was destroyed. It's not exactly one-to-one, -one, of course, because they had to make the maps much larger to make a Warriors game work because you move really fast. You know, If you've never played a Warriors game before uh, or played you know, Musou games, you the maps have to be massive because you're moving uh, really quickly with the character. There's all these hordes of enemies. you got to have much bigger maps. So it's not going to line up exactly one-to-one, -one, but we get to see so many buildings, so many structures before they were destroyed. It, it's going to be um, a lot of fun, even just exploring the world in that sense where you could take in the scenery and like recall what you experienced in that same area in, in breath of the wild heck you know there's going to be lots of videos even comparing uh breath of the wild area to uh the hyrule warriors undestroyed areas just because people want to you know kind of piece it together and, and see what hyrule actually looked like 100 years ago so i think it's gonna be great i i like that the story appears to be starting before Link was a champion, like when he was just a foot soldier. Uh, I like that idea because we get to see how Link rose up to be this important character that, that Zelda wanted to make sure got revived. Um, you know, we all know, uh, you know, spoiler warning here for Breath of the Wild, but there's a cutscene, a memory in there. Uh, I should say, I, I should rather say where uh, the sword glows and looks like it might be talking to Link. Um, and that happened, we see that cutscene again uh, in Hyrule Warriors. And I always thought it was interesting because the voice from the sword, if you guys didn't know, used to be Fi slash Fi, or, you know, I always forget which way they pronounce it. It's F-I uh, from Skyward Sword. She was the, she was the Master Sword. Uh, and she was, she sealed herself inside the sword for good to seal away um, Demise. But we haven't heard her speak since. Um, in any of the other games, of course. So it's interesting to me uh, to see if that plays any significance. Is, is Fee slash Fi back? Um, I, it's another thing just to think about. And her being back, does that suggest that Demise is, is breaking out? Um, that's something that it would be very interesting to re-explore because Demise is why we have Ganon and Ganondorf. So having them both exist at the same time, wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be interesting? Um, but yeah, I, I'm just crazily excited for Hyrule Warriors. Uh, I hope you guys are excited for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity as well. Again, it comes out November 20th. I'll put some pre-order links down in the description if you guys haven't uh, pre-ordered it yet. But man, oh man, let's go. This the, the 2020 may have started a little rough outside of the Animal Crossing release. Obviously, we all know New Horizons as a... Uh, came at the perfect time but now that we're entering the home stretch uh as it were of 2020 some exciting things are ahead man we got new console launchers we got pikmin 3 this month we got uh higher warriors age of calamity coming and who else knows uh what's happening we had 3d all-stars more recently so all right thank you guys for tuning in i'm nintendo ruffle chance from nintendo prime and i'll catch you in the next video